Holy, this nigga look like he about to eat a nigga. Bro, if I got a knee from this nigga, bro. Oh my god. A collection of titles in two sports and a plethora of knockouts. Yeah, he's gonna kill somebody, bro. Rampant power combined with a versatile style immortalized him as the first simultaneous MMA and kickboxing champion. Recently, the 42-year-old Dutchman put the big gloves on once again. It's time to take a look back at his illustrious run in the ring, where the Demolition Man dismantled legends and became they the last the king of the man. original K-1. <sighs> He's too big for this <laughs> Oh my god. A successful upgrade of the Demolition Man, fueled by horse meat and notorious Mexican <laughs> supplements, was complete by 2008. <coughs> Alistair bulked up to 240 pounds and went on a killing spree in MMA. Yeah, I am. It's over. Not enter the ring too many times. He's got to extend all business when he gets there. And if he extends right now, he's got to get it. Badrhari challenged him to a duel in big gloves on New Year's Eve. Listen. All this hugging and shit is nothing. K1, stand up fights, real knockouts. I guarantee you, everybody who wanna fight to get me, get knocked out. Us. The Moroccan striker had been the K1 regular champion with six finishes in a row just a month prior. God damn. The face to face clash of the Titans became the most anticipated event of the year. He's out. In March 2009, Overeem got his hands on Bonjanski. Remy was one of the select few to reign supreme in the organization's most prestigious Grand Prix on three occasions. The man strived to justify his moniker, the Flying Gentleman, at all times. <laughs> God damn. Both warriors showed their aerial prowess from the jump. Ooh. On the plane surface, however, the more mobile Remy outmaneuvered his beefy counterpart. Without just jumping into right the ramp. Leg manager uses straight punches like you know what you. Bonjanski's defense was called quote unquote virgins for an outstanding impenetrability. Tonight fights was a draw, 10 all fail. Still in the second frame, Overeem located the loopholes. Alistair always tried oh. to catch the leg kicks of Remy. Could Remy fake the leg kick and swing up to the head? Oh, oh shit. Bro, if they could put a feet. Later, he began to pull put his feet on his hands to make openings for strikes. He could put his feet on my fucking face like that. Remy lacked sheer power, of which Alistair had in spades. The referee neglected the fall. It would play its role afterwards. In the third, Bonjanski would touch the floor more often than a janitor. <laughs> more often than a janitor. The demolition man could already smell victory and continued to push. But the champion knew the secret ingredient to an unexpected comeback. Yeah, that nigga tough too, though. I give him that. With a single knockdown, Remy managed to change his fortunes and sway the judge's sympathies for a controversial decision win. Meanwhile, by giving the king all he could handle, Alistair earned an invitation to the Grand Prix. He won? He was welcomed to the qualifiers by Peter Arts, a three-time K-1 belt holder. The Dutch lumberjack was a special kind of fighter, the one who saw the judge's scorecards once in a blue moon. Nevertheless, Nick respect for the legend like quickly mop. went down the drain. The first round, 
In the first round, Alistair successfully exploited his athletic gifts Ooh, oh and my constantly God. bombarded the adversary. Peter met the bell with buzzing in his ears. Halfway into the bout, Arts initiated rough old school exchanges and produced a couple of bright moments. No, not at all. Grappling ball and stuff. It's a big fighter. Ertz wears an uppercut off the right hand. Jumping knee from Alistair. Ertz backed up yet again. He's got to get off the ropes, says Peter. And he does. Jab, right hand. He's lining him up. Overeem responded with hard, low kicks. He was being patient, not trying to chop off the rival's oaken head in one swing. In the final round, Alistair stuck to the game plan and peppered the veteran with meaningful combinations. Holy. See in your feet, boy. I mean, he's a... Despite the swollen face and bone-crushing flurries from the supercharged Demolition Man... Yeah, he gonna be out soon. Oh! The ever steadfast arts made it to the end. But he he eating some of these punches too. God damn! Alistair had comprehensively outstruck the front man of the old guard and moved further in the back. Hutchin, whatever you say, like he didn't even get knocked out. Come December, he had to put out three men in quick succession. So Everton Teixeira only lasted a minute on his feet. Oh my god. A cannon shot knee plastered the Brazilian across the canvas. That was just violence. Yeah, he's gonna kill somebody.